Steve here. I'm just going to cook some breakfast this morning and in the process I'm going to try out a few of these items that we've recently added to our website. The clean canteen, stainless steel water bottle, wide mouth. I'm going to be uh, heating some water in this and then I'm also going to be using these silicone bowls. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the firebox out here, get it set up. I've got the boil plate. I'm going to pull the fire sticks out, pop off the ash pan, and I'm going to be running the Trangia alcohol burner. I'll go ahead and take off the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and strike a spark down in there and get this lit. So that's going. I'll go ahead and put my boil plate on before things get too hot. And I'm going to run my fire sticks through. And you want to just put your fire sticks so that they place your whatever you're cooking you want it to be, or whatever your cooking surface is, you want it to be about an inch to an inch and a half above the top of the trangia. So that actually looks a little higher than what I want to do. So I'm going to go right in this center position here. And then I'm going to go ahead and that, while that's coming to a bloom, I'm going to add my water to my clean canteen. There it goes. My alcohol stove just came to a bloom. So I know I'm ready to go. Now I'm not going to put this lid on tightly. Okay, so while that gets boiling, I'm just going to go ahead and get my cocoa ready. Actually, I'm going to do my oatmeal first because that needs to sit for about a minute. Although it is instant oatmeal, it does need to sit for just a minute. I'm just going to do this instant stuff, make it easy probably what I would choose to use on the trail, so I figured it would be a good choice for this. And I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to eat two packs. So the things to be careful with when you're using a stainless steel water bottle is, one, obviously the outside of the bottle is going to be really, really hot. You don't want to touch that. And then you don't want to seal it up because it's going to be building up pressure. I like to put the lid just sitting on it so that it will boil a little bit faster. So I'm going to use a dish towel to hold it and pour it. And, uh, and I think, you know, I would probably recommend something like that. You know, a pair of, of gloves that can handle the heat or, uh, or like a dish towel or something of that nature. Okay, we have a full rolling boil now. So I'm going to go ahead and use my dish towel to lift this out of here and to pour some into my bowl here. I need about a cup. I think that's probably enough right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more water because I want to make some cocoa as well. We'll let that come back up to a boil. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and stir this up. What I really like about these uh, these bowls is they have some insulative value. So I can actually hold this and it's not gonna burn me. I'm gonna put my ash pan on top of here so that can just steep there for a second. So I think that's one thing I'm really gonna like about this silicone stuff is number one, it won't burn your lips when you put it to your mouth. It won't burn your hand when you're holding it and your food will stay warm. Okay, so that's back up to a boil. So now I'm gonna use my small bowl and make some hot cocoa in it. Now the, the advantages of the clean canteen are because it's made out of food grade stainless steel it doesn't need to have a liner in it. So there's no plastic liner. You don't have to worry about um, you know, toxins or whatever else that could burn off from a plastic liner because it is food grade stainless steel. They don't need that stuff. So I just want to show you here 
how you can, that's boiling hot water, and I'm able to pick that up, and it's still warm, but I'm able to hold it, you know. It's starting to maybe get a little bit too hot, but it doesn't just instantly burn you like, like a stainless steel cup or something would, which is nice. So let's go ahead and add my hot cocoa here. That's a lot of hot cocoa. This should be nice and rich. But once again, this cocoa is going to stay warm a lot longer than what it would if it were in a metallic type cup or something. So I'm going to go ahead and move my firebox out of the way. It is hot, so I'll be careful with it. And uh, I'll just kick back here with you. And have a little drink of cocoa. Ooh, that is hot. Nice and hot. Hmm. But that didn't burn my lips when I put it up to my mouth. You do have to be a little bit careful because it does squish and you can uh, good stuff. Let's go ahead and try out my instant oatmeal here. I brought up some brown sugar. So I'll go ahead and dump my brown sugar in there. And I also brought up some blueberries. Ooh, that looks good. I think I'm just going to eat them all while I'm at it. So this will make a nice breakfast. Blueberries, brown sugar, and oatmeal. Hey guys! How's it going? Okay, going good. Good. I'm having myself some breakfast. Oh, are you? Yeah. yeah. Little oatmeal and looks good. A little hot cocoa. Mm. It is good. Turned out great. Mm. I want to Hot. <laughs> the table's hotter than cocoa. The table's hot? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's pretty sunny out here. Let's see if we can move over and see Luke. He's more interested in the stove than yeah. he is. There's Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, hey. buddy. Hey. Hey, Grandpa. What you doing, huh? Hi. What you doing, huh? Okay, I'm going to try setting this up a few different ways with the uh, clean canteen and the Trangia alcohol stove and just see what kind of boil times I can get uh, doing two cups of water. So I'm gonna try running it down low. Let's see, I'm not sure which position I should have this in. Let me try a couple and see how this goes. Okay, so this position so I've got the Trangia mounted in there, but the bottom of the Trangia is not touching the fire grate. I just want to see if that will improve the performance of the Trangia, maybe put out just a little bit more heat. Um, just because that having it sit on the bottom may absorb some of the heat out of the Trangia and it may not run at quite as high of a temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this lid off. I kind of have that pretty full, so while I am waiting for that to come to a bloom, I'll put the two cups of water into my uh, clean canteen. Okay, that's going. 
and I'll get my boil plate in place. Let's see. Let's get our two cups of water. I am going to use the same holes as I use for the Trangia rather than use the diamond shaped holes. So I'm just gonna, I just want to try widening the stance. So I'm going to try them here. Let's just see if that will rest down on there well. Oh yeah, that's great. So that'll just give me a little bit of a wider stance for these uh, fire sticks. And hopefully the fire sticks, you know, see it's maybe a little bit too wide because it's, there's the uh, water bottle has just a little bit of a rounded bottom to it. So let's see. I don't know if that Trangia has actually come to a bloom yet. I haven't heard it kind of do its little burst into flames thing. I think I'm going to rotate this. The wind is coming this direction, so I'm going to rotate it so it will exhaust. So it will exhaust out the same direction as what that breeze is blowing. Okay, I may have overfilled my Trangia. I'm not, I don't think it's come to a full bloom, but I'm going to go ahead and start this anyway. So we'll just see how it goes. This may not be a perfect test, but and I'm going to go ahead and put this ash pan up against the side here. There's pretty good breeze coming from this direction, so I'm going to block as much of that as I can. So we'll see how this does. I'll check back with you when we're a little bit closer. I just wanted to show you how having that ash pan up against the one side, you know, it only leaves just those two holes open as far as, uh, as, far as wind goes. So that's a pretty good way to, to block a breeze. Okay, we're at 6.53 and we have a full boil. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and put two new cups of water in our clean canteen. Oh, I should have lit that, get that to a blossom, to a bloom. There we go. So we'll let that come back to a bloom. And I think it just did. There it goes. It's already bloomed. So that was pretty fast. Okay, so let me reset my stopwatch. push start and let's see and I'll put the lid on there so it's the same as last time and I'll put the ash pan up against the side so it's the same as last time and let's see how it goes okay we're at 536 right now and it's starting to boil actually it's not a full rolling boil just yet. Okay, it's full rolling boil at 555. That's about the fastest boil time I think I've ever gotten using a water bottle. You know, that was really a great boil time. Well, thank you everybody for watching. 